Yo, what's up? This is Nolan. I'm the guy that makes these hive mind compilation videos. And before we get into this one, I just want to say that last month in Philadelphia, I saw them live for one of their tour dates. The show was super, super fun. Got to meet a lot of cool people there. Got to meet them uh, at my meet and greet, Grant, Riley, Graydon, super cool guys. I even somehow ended up on stage with them to play a guest the popular rap song. For <coughs> <coughs> guess the popular rap song from the sample which i'm sure you guys are familiar with if you watch hide mine um i mentioned to riley on stage that i make hide mine compilations and i was like yeah i make hide mine moments and i think he thought i was the channel hide my moments which i'm not shout out to hide my moments shout out all the other hide my compilation channels out there you know borna i post whatever i want the absolute fucking goat shout out to him but yeah here's the footage of me on stage uh I was very, very nervous for like the first couple of seconds. I was freaking the fuck out, but it was super fun. Welcome. Thank you. Don't mind. Yeah. Yeah. All right, what's your name? Nick Nolan. 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 Nolan, welcome. Everybody get up for Nolan. Nolan, where are you from? I'm from New Jersey. New Jersey. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Okay, yeah, which ones? I did the Hide My Moments that make smoking cigarettes cool. That got like 70,000 views. Ah, okay, so you're, you're Hide My Moments. Yeah. Wow, interesting. Interesting. Why is that so interesting? It's interesting. Oh, okay. <laughs> awesome. Shout out, shout out to Nolan. So I can take over the show. And yeah, totally. Yeah, no. totally do it. Nolan! Oh, oh yeah. Nolan! Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, that's about it for me. Uh, I filmed multiple takes of this because I can't formulate a sentence to save my fucking life. But shout out to everyone who subscribes to the channel and enjoys the compilations. I really do appreciate it. And uh, yeah, on to the video. I feel like if I was going to do psychedelics for the first time, I would want to be around both of you. That's fine. Number one, because you have like a, you have a very calming nature. Like I feel like you have, you could handle somebody when they're having like a freak out. But I've, al I've always also wanted to experience like a scary trip. So I feel like you would be perfect for that. I'm pretty chill on psychedelics. No, I feel like if I, I was true. just on, if I this was just- This is, nope, that, that is a lie. Really? I had a dream the other day that we spiked Riley with like a thousand tabs. Uh. And I felt really bad about it right as he took them. And then he was into it. He was like, well, dude, I feel honest. Him, let's hang out and then we hung out for the whole trip and you <laughs> loved it it was really fun oh you hated it he's not telling the truth he scared the this was a dream you. yeah it's oh. a dream uh, yeah. oh oh, so, oh in real life riley had an existential crisis one time dude what yeah i had a really bad time one time and during that time some of my friends decided Oh, let's try to calm him down, take care of him. Mm -hmm. He decided to call me a bitch. Yeah, I was like, come on, dude. <laughs> you're a pussy. <laughs> you're, you're bringing my high down. <laughs> and then he laughed, pulled out a cigarette, and walked outside. <laughs> I bet you look like a literal massive figure to Riley with like a bunch of hands. Like yeah. you evilly pulling your cigarette out of your mouth like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his face was like over here kind of. Dripping. Yeah, it was, it was awful. Oh actually. my God. I've always wanted, because I like, I think of acid in like a, like a kind of cool 70s rock star kind of way. Yeah. But I've heard it can unlock like dormant mental illness, become fried human being. Kind yeah. Of. So that's why I'm afraid to do them. But I also like, I don't know. I would love to experience how it feels to be like, how the government. And actually, <laughs> with, the, with the government's, with the, with the they're hiding from us. <laughs> they're hiding from us. With the government's hiding from us. Yeah. Yeah. What life actually looks like. Yeah. You should totally do it, man. You'd love it. Yeah, it'd be awesome, dude. I want to take a heroic dose of shrooms and make actual good music. Hey, anytime you need a trip center, you call me up. I'm there. <laughs> Thanks, Unc. I love you, dude. Eric, what's up? You got that carton of smokes? Let's get to it. Lock the door. <laughs> he goes, Eric, this is permanent. <laughs> Eric, you're now manually breathing. <laughs> Jay Leno. Jay fucking Leno. A man who looks nothing like any other person on planet Earth. No. <laughs> the shape of his face is yeah. like it was designed by Seth MacFarlane. Looks like a veteran with PTSD went to a Build-A-Bear. <laughs> He's also got that uh, squirrely little voice like that. Uh -huh. You know, Jay Leno. And you can count on him to roll up to each game in a new car. Absolutely. Which Jay Leno's exciting. garage. Yeah, Jay Leno's garage. Oh my God. I hope he converts part of the garage into a little practice court for himself. Yeah. You know what? He seems like just a solid three. Yeah. But I think he could easily be my four, depending on the size that I get with the rest of my draft. And the size you get of Leno in training camp. That's he comes true. in way and different every year. Yeah. And listen, I'm just putting this out there. His nickname for the season could be Dr. 
Dr. Jay Leno, depending on what he does. It's <laughs> not bad. It's one windmill dunk away from one of the best nicknames. <laughs> so you have a drunk old white man at your three. Let's see what I get. The rest is all drunk old white uh, yeah, men. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, so when people say somebody's in a vegetative state, uh -huh. why do they say that? Like, I understand that vegetables are alive but don't really do anything, but so are a lot of other things. Like, yeah. what, like what if we said, like, he's in fruit mode? You know? <laughs> <laughs> but he was in a terrible accident, and now he's in fruit mode. <laughs> Doc, how is he? I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> He's in fruit mode. <laughs> or maybe like, I don't know, we were able to pull her from the car, but she's in kind of a tree situation. <laughs> you know, she's kind of tree-like. Yeah, I don't know why we landed on vegetative. When somebody's like brain is alive, but their body is dead, they're mm -hmm. just like, He's a vegetable. <laughs> <laughs> it's so crazy to say that. <laughs> Grandma's hands used to work on Sunday morning. God, Bill Withers? Yeah. Fuck, that's always fucking fire, bro. <laughs> <laughs> if I could only touch my grandma's hands one more time, I really mean that. I miss her. <laughs> she had a nice touch. What is funny? She had paper skin because she was old, and you could rip it open and see all of her tendons. That's <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> I miss her, man. My gammy. Such a sweet. Sweet Prince. Sus. <laughs> Quit laughing about it. I miss my grandma. My gammy. She's just such a unique mix of sincerity and like vulgarity. Yeah. It's, like, it's like you like don't know how. Like I, I'm having trouble expressing It's coming from myself. like a very sweet place. Yeah, it's it's just like I'm you missing. don't know how. Now I'm sad. More like chill withers, bro. That dude seems chill as hell to smoke with. He's dead. For real, for real. I would love to blow down with him. <sighs> so many things wrong with everything you're saying. Every word out of your mouth is scary, honestly. You'd like to blow down with dead Bill Withers. I mean, I prefer if he was alive, but <laughs> I'll take whatever I can get at this point. He just seems chill as fuck. Damn. Yeah. And I haven't smoked in six years, so I'd probably freak out, but... Especially if you're smoking with a dead guy, I mean. Would you rather be locked in your room with both your parents and you all have to eat 500 milligram edibles or you're in a room and you have to face a blunt with Bill Withers' corpse? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go with the corpse. The corpse can't judge me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really believe that, well, okay, even if I do believe in souls, I'm not going to get too deep into like what I believe, mm -hmm. but I don't believe that his soul is anywhere near his body now. He's for been sure. dead for a long time. You don't like, know that. You just learned that he died like a few seconds ago. No, I didn't. I knew he was dead when I said I wanted to smoke with him. <laughs> no, you didn't. Yes, I did. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Either way, he's been dead for a long time. His soul is somewhere wandering, probably in a cool garden or something. Yeah, true. And I'm going to be sitting with his rotting flesh, yeah. smoking a blunt and freaking out by myself. And I'd yeah. rather do that than in front of my parents. Yeah, your parents probably start making out. <laughs> they would never. I've never seen them make out in my entire life. Never seen them off five milligram Eddie's either. That's facts. <laughs> you know what I've been saying a lot? Huh. Where's my pig? Nicholas Cage. <laughs> Nicholas Cage, yeah. yeah. You know, I once bought a guillotine. Lightly used, of course. And just for the curiosity, think about what went on there. And to have that, it's <laughs> it's exciting to me. Can I pay you to never do the Nick Cage impression again? How much? 20 bucks. No shot. I love it. It's too much. 40? 60? I don't got 60. Yeah, yeah. I've lived in Vegas for 13 years, and uh, I was never much of a gambler, but uh, but I like I like the lifestyle. It's, it's shiny. It's glittery. It's, it's, it's showtime. It's show business. It's... <laughs> It's hookers, it's gamblers, it's rejects. It's it's the epicenter of American culture mm -hmm. all in one place. It's it's like a mall turned up to 13, you know? <laughs> I agree, Mr. Cage. Yeah, all right, cool. I'm done with the Nicolas Cage thing. Now, I don't ever want to be perfect because I'm a singer that you never want to see shirtless. <laughs> Huh. Yeah, um, okay, so let's see if we can do this without body shaming, because mm -hmm. everybody is beautiful. I like the butt a lot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> big butt guy. Yeah, I know that, yeah. Oh, I love a good ass. I understand. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. You know what I mean? Wow, wow, wee wah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Wow, wow, giggity, goo, goo, ga, ga. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I'll eat it, too. I'm not afraid to. <laughs> I will do it. Sure, sure, sure. I will to, do it. To when I, each their own. Only when I'm in love, though. Right. That's good. So if I ever eat your ass, that's how you know I'm in love with you. What's up, you're watching Hive Mind, the most celebratory show on the internet. My name is Riley Zosman, my wonderful co-host, Graydon. Glory. <laughs> Glory. <laughs> Glory and joy. Happiness. <laughs> Celebration. So today's episode is just for one man. This is Graydon Feud. What? Yeah. Right? What is this? Graydon Feud. 
You know our game Hive Mind Feud? Yeah. It's like that, but... It's just me? No, I mean, I'm going to play against you. It's like, you know how the show's usually about stuff you don't know that much about? <laughs> this one's all about stuff that you know about. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> oh. It's kind of for your birthday. Oh, nice. Yeah, happy birthday. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks, guys. <laughs> no problem. Yeah. If you lose this one, though, I don't know what to tell you. Okay. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Glory! Glory! Wanna go movie soundtrack? Let's go knocking on heaven's door. That is the highest answer for five points. Oh, okay, we cleaned it off. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> do I, what? <laughs> Don't do that with your fingers. It's a new thing I'm doing. I flip people off and then I suck them. <laughs> You like that? No, but this is your video, so yes. <laughs> yes, that's right, buddy. It's a bummer. I like criticizing you, and I'm not going to be able to do it. Ah, that gross. <laughs> and, they're, and then they're wet when I flip you're gonna you off. Get, <laughs> you're going to get nose, mouth, and throat. What is it? Hand, foot, and mouth disease. <laughs> hand, that's, foot, and yeah, mouth disease? Hand, What's mouth. that? When you put your feet in your mouth? Hand, foot, and mouth disease. It's like the thing that babies get. You know what babies get when I'm near them? A knuckle sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't punch babies, man. <laughs> Bing! Some people kiss them. I punch them. <laughs> Just knock their lights out. Very easy to knock out. Obviously. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Defenseless. <coughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Seems like bad etiquette. All around etiquette. Pretty rude. Spell it. E-T-I-Q-U-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E. <laughs> First clue, please. Texas A&M. Graydon. Johnny Manziel. That is incorrect. <sighs> See, that feels almost like it was bait for you to guess Johnny Menzel first. You can't guess twice on the same... Oh, okay. Wait, can you? I don't care. <laughs> I guess we haven't really made that rule. Ugh. Graydon. Miles Garrett. That is correct. Bingo Smith. <laughs> Bingo Smith is up in this bitch. <laughs> Call me Bingo Smith from now on the way I'm... Let's go, Aggies. I mean, how many are there? Next guest was Mike Evans. Okay. <laughs> you didn't have a next guest. That was your third guest. And guess. after that guess, I would have said, there's no more left. It's those guys. Bingo you know Smith what I'm is how you, you know what I'm, I'm not going to call you Bingo yeah. Smith. Uh, what I'm kind of pissed about yeah. is like the first one, it was like, Height, weight, age, yeah. all this shit. This one, college they attended. I don't know, man. Texas, agriculture and manure or medicine. I don't know what a and stands for. Agriculture and mansplaining. You know what? I don't care that I'm losing. I'm excited to learn nine other facts about Miles Garrett. Me too. He's the best. <laughs> Let's see him. Yeah. Baby Keem deserves more praise and more attention. I think he's one of the best rappers doing it right now. I totally agree. I would expect him to be like in the 160s. Yeah, totally. And you're a total clown who doesn't know how to guess shit. What? <laughs> and you're a total clown who does not know how to guess shit. What kind of animal do you want me to make out of this balloon? Turtle. I can only make penises. I can make it look like a penis. <laughs> Happy birthday. Do you want a balloon penis? I don't want that. I'm gonna make you a penis anyway. <laughs> oh, come on. I mean, that's just not, birthday it's penis not appropriate kid. for kids at all. But. <laughs> you're not a fucking kid. You're all, you're all, <laughs> you're older than me. Do you want me to finish on your face with this little flower? <laughs> I can spray this little flower on your face. Fine. All right. Don't move, let me get a rag. Some got in my hair. Yeah, just take a shower at your place. Donald Glover chose his rap moniker Childish Gambino after finding it through an online name generator for fans of this 1990s rap group, Quadeca. Wu-Tang? That is correct. Let's go, I'm back in it. You are on a Let's rip, go. rip, ripper. <sighs> Right. <laughs> you ever put your name through that little generator? <laughs> no, what? That would be weird. If That's I how that. you got yours, isn't it? No, what? Oh, no, yours was like you made up a superhero or something, and he was like just supposed to be fighting crime, but it was like Bible crime. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you came up with it, right? Yeah, when I, when I was four years old, I was like, well, you know, we got to clean up the streets. Yeah, and yeah, I, it was like that. And I was on chat roulette when I was like five. So <laughs> oh, yeah. it kind of prepped me, prepped me for the culture, you know? Yeah. All right. Jerking off. Uh, yep. Chatterbait. I didn't even, I, you know, chatterbait. Yeah. What, what category do you look at when you're on chatterbait? Fast. Fast? <laughs> <laughs> the faster they're doing it, the more I like it. <laughs> he has a need for speed. That's what he's always saying. <laughs> Hurry up. 
It's like, next, 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 next. It's like TikTok for me. And he, unfortunately, he did get canceled recently for what he said. Really? What do you? <laughs> well, I can't say it. I'll get canceled. <laughs> you tried to fucking trick me. No, I wasn't trying to trick you. <laughs> what did he say? Yes, you did. <laughs> what, what's... All right, I'll say it. No, I won't. No, no, no. Can you like hint at it? Like, is it... Oh God, no. What? What the fuck? Trying to implicate me? I'm not trying to implicate you. I don't want in on this. How did I not hear about this? I feel like I would. Like I work with the guy. I mean, yeah, I mean, he's done. He's done so. They want, like, done. Wrap it up. <laughs> His shit's over. Really? Yeah. There was a protest outside of his house yesterday. People said... He has a house? Yeah. People said, <laughs> Shut that. up. Shut up. Yeah, they don't want him to say it again. <laughs> what a crazy protest. <laughs> they don't want him to say There's it again. There were signs that say, shut up. Shut the fuck up. Because <laughs> if, if he says it again, it'll be so crazy. It'll be crazy if he says it twice. Once was already enough to get canceled. If he says it again, people are going to flip. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I just can't stop picturing a protest of people saying, shut up. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Stop it. You shouldn't have said that. Now, shut up. So, yeah, it'll be fun to watch kind of some of his old clips, but he's <laughs> done. We can't have him back up. Really? Oh, wrap it up, pal. Yeah. I got to know what he said to know if it's. <laughs> I'm not going to say if they're it. Just, I'm not telling you to say it. I'm saying if they're just telling him to shut up, I feel like I got to see what he said, and then maybe yeah. we'll have him back on the show. We'll see. Jury's out. <laughs> Jury's still out. All right. Can I ask you a question? Sure, man. Graydon told me that you got canceled for something that you said, and I forgot to address it in the last video because, in all truth, I am a little scared of what I'm going to find. But, but can I? Can you in, inform me about? Can't say it. I'll tell you that. I learned that. <laughs> yeah, but like, just what, what was the nature of this? It was something you are not allowed to say online, and I was on a liberal podcast, <laughs> and I said it, and I learned that day that me personally can't say it. Some people can say it. That worries me. Oh, yeah, dude. I didn't know either. What liberal... You went on a podcast solo without me? Yeah, it was on NPR. NPR. <laughs> yeah, I'm not supposed to say it, but... Because obviously they pulled it, but yeah, I was on NPR. When? What, what? They asked you to come on solo? Yeah, it was about eight weeks ago or something. And right. let's just say, I'll say this from my time at NPR, aside from what I said that apparently you can't say. Actually, no, I know you can't say it because they pulled the interview. Yeah. There's a reason they call her Terry Gross. <laughs> <laughs> she is disgusting. <laughs> She's gross. She eats with her hands. She's like sniveling and farting and stuff. <laughs> and her stomach growls. There's a reason they call her Terry Gross. That's all I'll have to say about my time at NPR. Aside from what I said that you cannot say on national public radio. It is a blessing that we don't have to deal with the FCC. Yeah? I would fuck them up. <laughs> I would fuck them up if we were on television. I'd be a fucking tangle in all their wires. I'd fuck up. I'd fuck their whole shit up over there. Okay. They wouldn't want to fucking deal with me. I'll tell you that much. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Mm. The FCC couldn't handle fucking with me. Be the last fucker they fucked with. <laughs> I'm like Daniel Tosh on steroids. They thought he was tough. Tough fucker. <laughs> but me, I'm a different beast. I'm like Daniel Tosh meets Joe Rogan meets Liza Minnelli. <laughs> <sighs> You know what I think the FCC should stand for? Fuck cancel culture. Let me say what I want on NPR. I do love that it's called cancel culture. <laughs> culture. Yeah. It's a culture, nice culture of canceling. Culture is something that has developed over history, over time. Yeah. That's just too broad of a word for what's happening. Cancel epoch. Cancel Tupac. That's what Gen Z's trying to do. Yeah, it's fucked up. Shut up! 50 years ago, you had your own pie down with a fucking fork up your ass! I'd like to wake up one day and everything was upside down. You know what I mean? You ever have that fantasy? Eh, not everything could be the exact opposite. Sure it could. I don't think so. You could have a mustache, but it's on your cock. That's not the opposite. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> no, it's just Your not. nose is kind of like the cock of your face. I mean... <laughs> I got a point. I don't know if you do have a point. Sure I do. I feel like you've lost the plot. The cock is the nose of your crotch. Does anybody ever tell you that, that you've lost the plot? Lost the plot, jump the shark, eat the fuck. You know what I mean? I get, to, I get all sorts of crazy shit. People say crazy shit to me all day, man. What do you mean? You think you're just like, you think you nailed it? I didn't nail People it. People say I'm all sorts saying. of crazy shit to me. I mean, yeah, but... Gumball pizza. <laughs> Smack salad. Someone said that to me right as I woke up this morning. It's <laughs> crazy. Right when you woke yeah. up, somebody said smack salad? Yeah. It's the first thing I Is heard. it like the drug smack in a salad or is it like I smack know, a salad? I, I didn't know, I had to brush my teeth and shit. I didn't bother like following up on it. <laughs> that's my baby alarm. That's, that's my changing alarm. Sorry.
There's a baby at my house right now. Who said smack salad to you? There's morning? a lot of people crashing to my place this week. <laughs> <laughs> like a lot. Who? Over 15, but it's a rotating cast of characters. <laughs> Just because people say weird stuff to you doesn't explain why you've kind of lost the plot. Like, it doesn't feel like you know where you're going. You'd today. be confused, too, if people said smack salad to you the second you woke up. I feel like you're setting yourself up for people to say weird things to you by having a rotating cast of 15 plus characters <laughs> crashing at your house in one week. It was a good deal, man. What do you mean a good deal? <laughs> a lot of people couldn't even get more than four. I got 15. <laughs> you know a good I mean? deal, though. I got are a you good deal money? on the cast of characters. Are you making money on this? No. What? Well, then what do you mean a good deal? I got 15 of them. How many people do you have sleep at your house tonight? Zero. Boom. I couldn't pass it up. Someone said there's a rotating traveling cast of 15 plus characters coming through town and they need a place to sleep. <laughs> I was lucky enough to be the first one to see it. And I got them. I feel like that's nobody's like shooting for the high score of people staying at their place. That's <laughs> if, like. You're jealous. Just say it, man. I'm not jealous. I mean. You'll never have that many people stay at your place. I hope so. That's way too many. If you want to meet some of the characters, you can come by tonight, but you can't crash. I'm out of room. Seems like somebody doesn't want to break the high score. You got 15 and now you're scared of 16. The high score is 34. My neighbor, Mark. Is it? You can meet him, though. Some of them are pretty nice. Some of them are fucked up. It seems like you're kind of letting life just wash over you right now. <laughs> I mean, what is that It's stuff? like a wave that's hitting you and you don't know what to do. You're just going to You wouldn't away. either, man, if all this stuff was getting thrown at you. It's not getting thrown at you. You are beckoning it. <laughs> the tide is rising. Technically. I thought that was the, that's the end of the sentence. <laughs> <laughs> the tide is rising on my life. Whatever. We got to guess this emo jam. I already guessed. Okay. Technically. <laughs> and I'm gonna say it again. I'm gonna say it a couple of times. But Jilly! We're there for a minute, but I can't go back. But Jilly! The way they ran that restaurant was fucking whack. But Jilly! They don't even give a fuck about their workers. But Jilly! Paying $2 an hour for your servers. But Jilly! I don't like a single item on their menu. But Jilly! The food is terrible at every single venue. But Jilly! Fuck that chili pepper. I don't give a shit. But Jilly! And fuck the customer, cause they can suck a dick. The schedules oh. that they give in us, what the the fuck is that? The manager don't ever get the fuck up off her ass. My manager was lazy and she also overweight. <laughs> I still put that bitch as a reference on my fucking resume. The management staff at Chili's was always power tripping. No one did their job and none of these customers were fucking tipping. One time we had an 86 of fucking water. We were always out of everything. Why do I even bother? See, down at Chili's, they have this thing called Old Timer Tuesday. You can get a burger and some fries for seven bucks on Tuesday. So, of course, a bunch of people come on fucking Tuesday. Tuesday. But we ran out of burgers every single fucking Tuesday. How does that happen? How do you not get enough burgers? Management don't do shit and it ends up affecting the servers. Cause now we gotta tell these people we don't got no burgers. And of course they get angry and blame the motherfucking server. Get me wrong, when I was working, I was slacking off. When it was time to do my job, I was backing off. But that's because I knew my worth. They couldn't fire me. Cause they've been short on staff like ever since they hired me. They locked the back door. They said we couldn't go outside. They said we couldn't smoke no more. They must be out they fucking mind. That was the first time that I got a fucking clue. I put my two weeks notice in. They said what the fuck we gon' do. But Jilly. Management was lazy. All they know is read. But Jilly. One of our cooks couldn't even read. That's real. Management staff can kiss my ball sack. But Jilly. Fuck Jilly's bitch. I'm never going back. But Jilly. Oh, oh, I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. Oh man. Holy shit, house. dude. Yeah. Wow, that was really funny. That was amazing. <laughs> it sounded so much like YBN Namir to me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Dude, it almost got, it got to like RXK nephew territory. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> the, the whole thing with the old timer Tuesday. <laughs> old timer Tuesday, <laughs> rhymed oh with Tuesday God. the entire time, <laughs> and then burgers, rhymed with burgers, and only servers twice. <laughs> but it was so, so good. good how it tied That's together. Fire. It was dude, perfect. Right Story. Yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Boop, 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 boop. yeah. They didn't want to see me up here on the stage, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I've lost my way again. Hey. Yeah, I came up from the trenches. Oh. Got that water on me trenches. Uh. And the pussy I've been stretching. 
Oh. Yeah, shout out to Grand Chin. You wish just my one night stand. See, I'm your man, but on that, I'm that one night man. See, I just pulled up from Japan. Got the lot to trip on me. And you call me up, but bitch, I'm not lonely. Ha. You ain't even fucking know me. Trying to call me up like, bitch, you fucking own me. Ha. That's a whole lot of baloney. I think your music and your balls stay below me. Oh, you gon' blow me Let's at go. the first chance you get. Yes, okay. I ain't even scared of y'all. I ain't breaking sweat. No. I ain't placing bets no. on my own rise. Yeah. But if I did, I'd place my money to the sunrise. Let's go. Bitch. And that's what I got. All right. We're just friends. They're asking if we were more than friends. Well, like, we're co- we're, like, partners in business. Does that count? But we're not, like, in a romantic relationship. There are parts of it that are romantic, I guess. But not, like, sexual. I hit a cat to this song, Riley. What? I there's a first time I ever committed roadkill. You it's not you don't commit road mm -hmm. whatever. Cruising whatever. down County Road 2, Swanton, yeah. Ohio, 80 miles an hour at night. Cat from 40 yards plus away. I could only see its eyes and it made a beeline for my front left tire and I heard the distinct crunch of its cat skull. And I was listening to Purple Rain really loud and I continued to listen to it as tears streamed down my face. And then I hit the intersection of Airport Highway and County Road 2 and I turned right and I have never been the same since. And the song has taken on quite a bit of a different meaning. Still good though, still perfect actually. <laughs> but I killed a cat to this song and it made me weep. No. <laughs> Curiosity killed the cat. No, Prince. Oh, sorry, no. <laughs> you Prince. killed yeah. you right, killed well, a cat yeah. with a car. Hey, you know I'm coming hot with this one because the Niners just lost. Ugh. Pull up to the club in a brand new drop. I might be big, but I stay on top of your bitch. Ass so fast, she shook her for the bay and made that shit like 89 again. Ugh, bar none. Roll my weed up and I smoke it when I'm done. She reached for my pants, but all she felt was my gun. Bass knocked the whip like Bonds, home run. Cops pull me over because they think I'm selling crack, but I don't give a fuck because there's a sub in the back. Even if they got me, they ain't ever going to stop me because I got enough cheese to bail myself out. Hoes say they love me, but I don't really care because they only say that shit when there's cash in the air. I stay off beat, but they still show me love. If you rep the east side, you won't see my sweet side. And if you play a brother wrong, I'll stuff you in the trunk. Ass so fat, you can play Django on that shit. Pimp. <laughs> Pimp. <laughs> Holy fuck. That was the easiest one yet for Am me. Am I gonna even know who that is? I'm running, running, I'm okay. running, running. Oh. I'm sorry. This is gonna get sensitive for a second. But if you didn't know what was going on and you got invited to a billionaire's island, you're lying if you'd say you wouldn't go. I'm just, that's all I'm, dude, <laughs> you're lying. I, I you're lying if you'd say you wouldn't go. If someone was like, whoa, this guy with all this money, <laughs> he, he wants you to, we can swing by there. I, I, You'd be like, fuck yeah, I let's under, fucking do this. I understand without context how you would say that. Yeah. But if you went more than once, yeah, that's where you got some problems. Maybe, but if I, you show up, yeah, it's not even when you show up. Yeah. Because Matt Greening from The Simpsons, he's talked about it. He yeah. was on the plane. It's going on on the plane. If you go once, maybe I get it. <laughs> If you go twice, <laughs> shame on you. Not shit, like throw you in prison. If you went once, it's shame on me. Yeah. Okay. I get it. So that's all I'm saying. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. You're lying if you'd say you want to go once though. I'm lucky. I know who Jeffrey Epstein is. So if he asked me to go to an island, I'm saying no. Wait, you know him? No. I know who he is. <laughs> uh, I know of his crimes. But the island is getting turned into a five-star resort. So you'd go now. Not with him though. He is. Yeah. Well, we, <laughs> yeah, we don't know.
Yeah. You show up and he's like, what's up? And you're like, no. <laughs> no. I, I thought like, it was different now. He has like dyed eyebrows. <laughs> you're like, is that Anthony Bourdain? <laughs> now she's dating that little ugly fucker, right? <laughs> she's dating SpongeBob, yeah. He's disgusting looking. Musical SpongeBob. Musical SpongeBob. Musical. I think let her date who she wants to date. She probably right. loves his personality. Oh, yeah. I'm not saying it's like bad on her. I'm saying he is ugly as fuck. Oh, yeah. Like that's on him. Yeah. He looks gross and silly. Yeah, sure. It's yeah. nothing to do with her. I hope for her. Nothing but happiness. Yeah, same. And their relationship. I'm just saying she's dating that ugly motherfucker now. Right. You're just clarifying like that ugly yeah. theater dude. Yeah. Disgusting little funny freaky guy. If you want to avoid the insults and stuff, his name is Ethan Slater. So if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's opening up a whole new doorway, pal. <laughs> yeah. More like, <laughs> I'm not even going to go there, dude. Might get us fucking canceled, man. That is such a good setup. I could just go riff on that shit all day. <laughs> Ethan Slater. Yeah. Yeah, more like, I'm not even going to do it. I'm going to take it easy on the guy. I already beat the pulp out of him. What do you want me to do? Suffocate his fucking face? Something? Leave him dead? I'm not going to kill him. I'm not going to kill him right now. <laughs> I'll save a little for later. You know, maybe a midnight snack. I'll start riffing in on that shit. You know, if I, if I get a hankering later. Right. Yeah. I'm not going to do it now, though. Did you actually beat him up? What? No, I'm just saying metaphorically in oh. the comedic verse. Yeah. I was tossing him around like a rag doll. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you think Ariana Grande and that guy ever had a conversation, like they have a conversation where he's like, Ariana, everybody's calling me ugly on the internet. And she's like, oh, sweetie. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I like you. If you were hot, I wouldn't date you. <laughs> Look at my history. I love ugly fuckers. Honestly, the more disgusting, the better. I'm trending downward, too. <laughs> Next, I'm going to date John Malkovich. <laughs> Do you have any ugly cousins, by the way? Like, uglier than you. Yeah. I hooked up with Mitch McConnell last <laughs> week. I cheated on you. <laughs> yeah, when he zoned out, he was just, like, having a sex flashback with our <laughs> People aren't going to like us, though. Well, MGMT is the only band with two songs in here, so I feel okay that we kept kids, and we had to douse Electric Field to get White Winter Hymnal to the second round. It's true. No one really likes a hand job either. Right. Much rather get slurped. <laughs> exactly, buddy. Slurped, licked, spit, all that sort of thing. Feels much better than a hand job. I mean, I'm talking extra sloppy, too. Put it in that thing you eat with and not that thing you grab with. <laughs> so sloppy, I want to wipe my ass afterwards. Totally. I want to think to myself, did you throw up and not care? <laughs> That's how sloppy it was. You know what I mean? Was that puke? You know what? Keep going. Doesn't matter. Sloppier the better. I don't know if I agree anymore. Oh, you're yeah. out now. <laughs> now he's out. I think okay. I'm out. Grant, are we all ready to roll? Tony, how do I look? Quiet on set. Three, two, one. What's up? You're watching Hive Mind, the most ridiculous show on the internet. My name's Riley, and as always, I'm joined by my pretty co-host, Dignan. Today, we're bringing back an old favorite. This is Guess, Guess the, the Rapper, rapper from, from the, the AI, AI Baby, Baby Photos. photos. Alright, Grant, what's the first one? <gasps> That sure looks like a baby to me, Riley. I love babies. <laughs> me too. I think I got a good guess for this one. Three, two, one. Darn it. I never get any of these right. That's kind of the charm of the show. Hey, Dignan. Want to hear a one-liner? Sure. Do you know what breakfast spread did the best in school? No. Well, butter was always on a roll. <laughs> <laughs> Gavel. Sure are crazy with those one-liners, Riley. That's kind of the charm of the show. Any dig writers in the chat? Let me know if I look pretty today. Now it's time for one of my crazy stories about some fucked up shit I did. This one time, I was walking down an alley, and it was late at night, and I killed an old woman. <laughs> Didn't mean to. I hid the body anyway, because I had priors. You think that one's going in the next bits bracket? That's kind of the charm of the show. And I sure wish Quad Echo was here to give us one of his crafty bars of the day. And so the video would get double the views. That's kind of the charm of the show. Wow. 
I love doing this show with you, Riley. I used to be a bad guy, and now my life's held together by my friends and YouTube. Sure would be a catastrophe if you guys all up and left and started doing something without me. I don't know what would happen to me. I'd probably lose my last marble. But that didn't happen, did it, Riley? No, son. I'd never leave you. Thanks. Should we get on to the next AI baby photo, then? That sounds good to me. And don't worry if you get it wrong, what you bring to the show is intangible and irreplaceable. I will never leave your side. Thank you, Riley. I've always wanted to hear that from you. Especially you. Always you. I wanted to hear that from you. I love you too, Grant. And Tony, I don't quite love you yet, but I think I'm learning how to. Together, all of us, we're hive mind. Hive mind. Hive mind. Hive mind. Hive 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 nightmare I air 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 nightm